I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my student Shruti, IB student who wants to understand dot product of vectors. The question here is the vectors a minus 5p and a minus p are perpendicular. If a and b are unit vectors then determine a dot b. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's try to understand what is given to us. We are saying that the two vectors are perpendicular and that clearly means that their dot product should be 0. Right? So a minus 5b dot a minus b should be equal to 0. If a and b are unit vectors, that means magnitude of vector a is equal to magnitude of vector b and both magnitudes are just one unit vectors. What we need to find is what is a dot b. So we need to find what is a dot b, correct? This is what we need to find, okay? So let's begin with what is given to us. We can do the dot product, apply the distributive and commutative properties. So you may actually, when you write steps, you may write sometimes it is required to write why you got that statement. So explaining distributive, commutative, associative properties. So let's begin. So dot product. So a dot a, this is the first thing, minus a dot b, then minus 5b dot a. Minus minus becomes plus 5b dot b equals to 0. So we applied this distributive property. Now, since a and b are unit vectors, a dot a should be 1. But let me go one step ahead. a dot a basically is magnitude of a square, correct? And then we have a dot b this is what we need to find so let's just keep it a dot b minus 5 b dot a so we can apply the commutative property and write this as minus 5 a dot b perfect plus 5 b dot b means magnitude of b square and that should be equal to zero so i hope this step is absolutely clear now since we are also given they are unit vectors so definitely magnitude of b square is equal to 1 which is also equal to magnitude of a square so we'll put 1 for them 1 minus and that becomes 6 a dot b so that is your vector algebra part plus 5 equals to 0 correct so now uh, we can take these terms, constants, to the right side. So what do we get? 1 plus 5 is 6. So let's take a dot b to the right side. So we get 6 equals to 6 a dot b. Correct? Now dividing by 6, that is 6 over 6, is basically a dot b. So a dot b in this case is equal to just 1. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So a dot b is 1. So our answer is a dot b is equal to 1. Now you need to explain me that these two are unit vectors and if their dot product is 1, in that case what does it mean? Can you find the angle between them? Okay, so that is the question for you. Anyway, we just wanted to find what a dot b is. It is supposed to be a scalar quantity. And in this case, we get a dot b as 1. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.